When you have a hit TV series, you never want it to just be that hit series. Or at least many networks don't want it to be that way. Because if you are able to make it work and get a lot of people's attention, what's stopping you from doing it again and again and again? Look at things like CSI, NCIS, and Law and & Order, all the terrible dating shows out there, and more. But for Paramount Network, they hit on something with Yellowstone. And so they made a prequel about it, and many are hoping it comes back for more. Allow us to ask about 1883 Season 2. Will there be another season of the Yellowstone prequel? Star opens up. Season 2 already in the cards? Since the series started airing, the Yellowstone prequel has captivated audiences as it explores the perilous journey for the Dutton family. Boasting a star-studded cast, Taylor Sheridan's new series continues to win over fans of the original Western melodrama. The show will consist of 10 episodes before the first season comes to an end. 1883 airs on Paramount Plus and the Wild West series acts as a prequel to Yellowstone. The historical drama tells the origin story of the Dutton family as they hope to start a new life in Montana. Express.co.uk talked to one of the stars about how many seasons there will be. Amanda Jaros, who plays Alina in the series, had this to say about things. I'm confident that this show will be such a success that it will be hard for Paramount Plus to say no to another season of 1883. Yellowstone fans are so loyal, and I'm sure the next season will be just as much of a roller coaster ride as this season. Knowing his work ethic, Taylor's probably writing season two right now. But there's never any guarantees in the future, so we'll see, she added. Variety revealed 1883 had the biggest rating debut for an original series on Paramount Plus since the streaming service launched. Which is actually a really big deal, considering that the streaming service has various Star Trek properties and other shows that have launched before 1883. Following the success of the debut season, Sheridan feels enthusiastic about the show's future. If the first season ends on a cliffhanger, it would indicate season two is in the pipeline. With the final expected to air on February 27th, it is too early to speak of a season two renewal. Then again, that could change based on if the ratings of the show have continued to be steady. Because why wait for a renewal when you can make it now and ensure that the show comes out sooner rather than later? Exactly. Jero said fans may see more of a connection between the prequel and the original Yellowstone series in the future. The star added, I love that Yellowstone is showing so much redemption in their storylines this season. It's beautiful to see characters have hope after experiencing so much darkness. I think that's something we all relate to. I specifically have a soft spot for Rip's story arc. Given how far apart they are in the timeline, it's not impossible that the shows will hint at certain things that have happened or will happen in 1883 and Yellowstone per se. In a connected universe like this, why not? Making 1883 One thing that can't be ignored here is that while Yellowstone and 1883 are visually stunning and emotionally gripping shows to watch, they aren't the easiest of shows to make. In fact, one of the stars has noted just how hard it can be to make a show like Yellowstone. It's super dusty and super hot. There's no way around it, Tim McGraw explained to Entertainment Weekly in November. At the same time, it's like every kid's fantasy to do something like this, to put your chaps on, your cowboy hat, and your gun holsters every day. Then you get on a horse and try to survive this journey. Although it looks amazing, it's terrible. I think I have a few ribs floating around in my body, Hill noted to EW. This is real work. I was raised by Edna Earl and Ted Perry and they believe the best way to teach a child was to get your hands in the dirt. That's basically this in a nutshell. I think so many actors are drawn to co-creator Taylor Sheridan's writing because he is portraying the story in a way that was lived. I gained so much respect for Cowboys. For Sheridan, his approach to introducing the Duttons was all realistic storytelling. I don't build a world with visual effects, Sheridan added. I go shoot these corners of the world that people haven't seen. The audience today is so experienced. They've seen so much. So to move the audience becomes more and more difficult. It's incredibly expensive and very difficult. But we can do it as John Ford did it. When you need 50 wagons, you're going to see 50 real wagons. We are thrilled to have Academy Award nominee and acting legend Sam and hugely talented award-winning artist Faith and Tim all join the Taylor Sheridan universe. David Glasser, CEO of 101 Studios, said in a release. Taylor's proven his immense capability of creating captivating characters and immersive worlds. And there's no exception here with 1883 and Sam. 
Faith, and Tim's characters. We are looking forward to this future expansion of the world of Yellowstone and bringing it to audiences everywhere. Praising shows is something that a lot of fans love to do, but they also need to praise the people behind the camera and behind the scenes in general for making things look and feel and sound the way that they do. Look at that line about the 50 wagons. People had to make them, and then people had to make sure they were safe to be ridden on and driven and so on. Not to mention the costume designers who made sure everything looked like the characters are from 1883. And the sound designers who helped make you feel the emotion or tenseness of a scene. It's a lot, so do remember that. Getting the right cast. Given how big and popular Yellowstone was, it was only natural that 1883 would try and top that with not just story, but with star power. Sam Elliott, Tim McGraw, Faith Hill were obviously some of the biggest draws for the cast, but obviously there had to be more going on given the large scale of the project. Early on, it was revealed that the cast would be rounded out by Isabel May, Alexa and Katie, who will play Elsa, the Dutton's eldest daughter. LaMonica Garrett, designated survivor as Thomas, a Pinkerton who works closely with Sam Elliott Shea, and Billy Bob Thornton as Marshal Jim Courtright. In November, a full cast list was finally revealed, including Audie Rick as the Dutton son and future father of Yellowstone's John, John Dutton Sr., and Don Oliveri as Jane Dutton's sister, Claire. Also joining the cast will be Mark Risman, Eric Nelson, James Landry Herbert, Emma Moloff, Alex Fine, Gratilia Brancusi, Anna Fiamora, Nicole Galilicia, Stephanie Nur, Amanda Geros, Noah LaGrosse, and Martin Seinsmeer. But that's not all. There has been a recent addition to the cast as well. The show is bringing in Graham Greene into the fold according to Variety. The Dances with Wolf star has been tapped to play a crow elder who aids the Dutton family on their voyage out west by giving them directions to a place to settle. Green is no stranger to 1883 creator and Yellowstone co-creator Taylor Sheridan, as he also appeared in Wind River, which Sheridan wrote and directed. And if season two comes about, you can bet that there will be even more characters that help expand the lore. Oh, and don't forget that in the premiere, we had a surprise cameo from Tom Hanks. How cool was that? Growing. While 1883 has been a big hit for Paramount+, Plus. That's not to say that there isn't some room for growing in the future. Every show has to find and then maintain its footing. And as a result, if season two of 1883 comes about, you can expect even more from the show. And that's honestly a lock given how passionate Sheridan is about his properties. So while we don't have confirmation about the show's renewal just yet, it may be coming sooner than you might think. So what do you think? What do you think of this look at the 1883 season two and whether it's likely to happen or not? Are you already heavily invested in this new series set before the time of Yellowstone? What depths do you feel this series can mine before it becomes a bit superfluous? And will they try and do yet another spinoff? Let us know in the comments below and we'll see you next time on the channel.